These are lithium ion battery cells. They're incredibly powerful, useful in e-bikes like ours, but unfortunately they can be pretty dangerous when they're um, damaged or malfunction in some way. There's a couple things that we do to try to mitigate the danger of these things. First, we always use high quality name brand cells. This is the Molacel P42A. Second, we test each of these cells individually and then match them for resistance before we put them into a custom mold that we've designed that allows us to inject a little over two millimeters worth of Epic Resin's thermal epoxy between each of the cells. What that does is that in one of those rare cases in which uh, one of these cells erupts because it's been punctured or somehow overcharged or over discharged, the thermal epoxy will slow the spread and make it much less likely that the whole pack catches on fire. Once we've got the cells epoxied like that, we then carefully spot weld these 0.3 millimeter thick pure nickel plates and wire up a custom BMS that keeps the pack balanced and will shut the pack off uh, before it gets overcharged or over discharged. Once we've got that done, we check all our connections, um, make sure it's a perfectly functional pack, and then we put it inside an aluminum case that we've designed that allows there to be um, plenty of room all around the pack internally for a second round of thermal epoxy so that the entire pack is potted inside the aluminum. The result is a highly durable battery that is resistant to punctures, water, corrosion, the shock of being on a bicycle, and most importantly, far more resistant to fire than the batteries that are coming out of China that are encased in thin plastic and have no thermal epoxy protection. The whole process is pretty time consuming and it definitely costs us a little extra, but we think it's worth it to try to avoid catastrophe.